Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Ralify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So this story should be a warning light. Maybe it's a flare. Maybe it's a dead canary. I don't know how you want to take it, but do take it as a warning. A red flag even. Flashing lights. I don't care, but it's a warning. America, which is rapidly following Canada down the, down the, the pathway to hell, to communism. I guess those two are the same thing. Whatever. Synonyms. But America is following Canada. And it's almost a race to the bottom. America's not going to get there first. Good for you. But it's a race to the bottom. America is, is the lucky one. Australia, Canada, and England are free-falling. Racing. Who can get to hell the fastest? I mean, New Zealand's in there too. And this story here that we're going to cover is, uh, is a, good, uh, a good warning. This is coming. It's coming for you. It's already here. This, but, God, this, this makes me, it makes me mad. It makes me so mad. So do like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel, all of those things. Most importantly, please, please, for the love of all that's holy, do follow me on Rumble. I mean, even if you choose to not follow me on YouTube, do follow me on Rumble. My, my YouTube days are genuinely numbered. Do follow me on Rumble. That would, uh, that, would, that, would, that would make my day. It would. Also, I live stream there exclusively. So if you want a you hilarious, hilarious live stream every Saturday night, that's where it is. My goodness. I've, I've, I've talked a long time. Let's, let's talk about this. Trans-identified male awarded $35,000 by an Ontario court after a woman's salon refused to wax her balls. Now, this Ontario court is the Ontario Human Rights Commission or whatever. They are famously woke, famously progressive, famous, famously, um, I don't know, wanting to bring in communism. All the human rights commissions do that. They, in Quebec, like, every province has their own human rights commission, and they're all kind of, like, intertwined or whatever. But the one in Quebec, as Steven Crowder has pointed out uh, a bunch of times, they went after a dude for telling a joke, a comedian for telling a joke. Eventually, in the Supreme Court, it got struck down, and, and the comedian finally won. But the process was very long, very arduous, spent a lot of money. These human rights councils, I mean, it's great to have human rights. Hooray, human rights! But what is a human right? Like, I think we've lost sight of what a right is. So a Canadian court awarded a trans-identified male who claims to be a woman $35,000 after an Ontario's uh, woman's salon refused to wax her her, right? Because she's obviously a woman. Her male genitalia. I mean, they, they shouldn't have to do it. Right? They, they shouldn't have to do that. It doesn't matter what religion you are. It doesn't matter. Like, if, if someone comes in and says, wax my balls, they should be like, I'm, I don't want to wax your balls. I don't, I don't want your business. Don't companies have the right to, to refuse business? I, th I thought that was the thing. Like if, if a, some woman went into a salon and, and that person was like, actually, I don't want your business, goodbye. Then that's what it is. But all of a sudden, it's, it, it's a trans individual and it becomes a human's right thing. Businesses get to say, no, we don't want your business. I mean, remember, there was a pandemic where businesses, they all got in a line and said, hey, unvaccinated people, we don't want your business. Like, was that a human rights thing? I mean, it could probably be argued that's more of a human rights thing because that's like based on like medical stuff. But anyways, the salon employee working that day was a devout Muslim woman who refrained from physical contact with men. And the salon owner told the trans woman that there was uh, no way that they could accommodate her request. Come back another day. 
oh, what's that? This woman's religion doesn't allow her to interact with my genitalia. I, I'll come back tomorrow when my genitalia can be waxed by somebody at this establishment. Like, I mean, they go out of their way. This, this, this mafia community, it goes out of their way to find confrontation. Like the, like the bake the cake. You will bake my cake. You will write the things on it that I want you to write. Uh, we don't want to do that. Well, then we're going to take you to court. Yes, but there's other bakers happy to do it. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want the other bakers. We want you to do it because you don't want to do it. So you'll do it. I mean, this is Windsor, Ontario that we're talking about here. There's other places. There's other salons in Windsor, Ontario. Windsor, Ontario is a medium-sized city. There's plenty of other places. This dude could have had his balls waxed. Jason Carruthers, owner of Mad Wax, uh, like Mad Max. Ha! Funny. In Windsor, told Rebel News that he has 30 days to pay the hefty sum following a six-year battle in court. He has filed for an appeal and has launched a fundraiser. The complainant, identified as A.B., filed a complaint with the Human Rights Tribunal of Ontario in 2018. After speaking to Carruthers on the phone, in which the individual said the waxing services was denied, the court found Carruthers liable for discrimination and misgendering the complainant. The, your first... Your First Amendment in America is so vital. It is so precious. Like, fight for that. With every last breath in your body, you fight for that First Amendment. And also, that second one's pretty cool, too. Canada has neither of those. We don't have free speech in Canada. We have freedom of expression. I'm not even sure what that means. And I studied our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. I still don't know what freedom of expression means. We can't say what we want. Hate speech is not protected. I don't think hate speech actually exists. It's not real. It's just speech that you hate. But yeah, that First Amendment is so vital. You have the right to misgender somebody. In Canada, it's like a jail time and a massive fine. Our speech is punishable by insane sums of money and, and, and time locked in a goddamn box. This country has gone down the absolute shithole. The business owner said the complaint in AB changed the story. Because of course they did. Claiming after the fact that only a leg waxing was requested. Carruthers explained that his salon had always waxed transgender clients' legs. But the caller did not ask for a leg wax. And that's the thing. That is always the thing. Once upon a time, there was actually a um, trans individual, Jessica, uh, oh, Jessica Yigri, or some, oh, I forget the last name. It, it just slipped my mind. Um, that tried this same thing in, in British Columbia. Did this, this exact playbook. Wax my balls. Uh, excuse me, we, we're not qualified to wax balls. Or we're uncomfortable with waxing balls, or uh, whatever, whatever the actual reason was, and it became a habit. This is the same thing. Carruthers told AB that he did not have any employees available who could provide a male waxing service at the time, referring to AB's biological male genitalia and not the complainant's gender identity. Hence the point. Of the complaint. This was, a, this was a hit. This has gone exactly the way this trans individual wanted it to go. Exactly the way. This, this was a hit. This was, a, this was an attack. After AB filed a human's rank complaint, Carruthers told reporters that AB had requested a male Brazilian waxing. A comment that the human rights court used against him. That's, that's exactly it. This, this was a hit. So a female Brazilian waxing is waxing of the labias. This individual doesn't have a labia. It's an entirely different procedure. It's an entirely different thing. So 
this guy was talking talking about the actual procedure of waxing a scrotum, which is entirely... Because he's using the correct services requested, the the human rights court was like, oh, you said male Brazilian waxing? This woman with the scrotum is obviously a female. Well, I can't do a female waxing on this woman with a scrotum. I have to do the male waxing on the female with the scrotum. So like, what, what kind of bullshit is that? This was a hit. This was an obvious attack that this uh, business owner could not have won. Could not have won at all. They were always going to lose this. They're saying I discriminated against that person, but they're also saying that, that I reprised when I spoke to the media. So those two things are factored into the amount. So you can't, you can't talk to the media because that's, that's reprisal. That's retaliation. You attacked that trans person by telling your story. Sorry. Right, what? What? Everyone gets to have a side except the person who runs the business. Everyone gets to have a side except the person being attacked. Only the trans person gets to have a side. Carruthers' comments to the media reportedly traumatized uh, the AB who claimed to the court that the incident had opened up a public conversation about the status of her physical transition. Right. Trauma. Trauma. They love trauma. Everything is trauma. Silence is violence. Violence is violence. Words are violence. Everything's trauma. What? I'm looking at every avenue to fight this legally, said Carruthers, who explained that the court has the power to seize his assets and garnish his income. The business owner's lawyer called the ruling deeply flawed and told the CBC, which is the the um, government media that's liberal. It's funny. It is actually really funny that the CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, is the government's mouthpiece when liberals are in office. But then the moment conservatives get into the office, you think the government mouthpiece would start saying what the conservative government would say. But no, all of a sudden, they Freaky Friday and switch, like a flip a switch. And all of a sudden, they're like, the government's the worst thing ever. But you've loved the government for the last eight years, nine years. What, what are you saying? They're like, that's because Justin Trudeau had good socks. You know what I mean? So um, a male Brazilian waxing is what this guy wanted. That's what he wanted. I want this Muslim girl who can't touch men to wax my balls. The trans community, here's transgender in, uh, in Reddit. They, they go, Ontario Human Rights Tribunal awards... Uh, trans transgender woman denied leg waxing, so it's it wasn't a leg waxing, but they are a um they're lying because the the trans people lie. They fucking lie. They're liars. Top comment. It's a fucking leg wax. One hundred percent discrimination. No, because they do leg waxing all the time. The owner said, "Yeah, we have no problem waxing. Waxing a man's leg and waxing a woman's leg are awfully similar." Awfully similar. Waxing labia and waxing scrotum, vastly different. It's so different. Okay, because I don't think that there's a male leg waxing service versus a female leg waxing service. It, it's just a leg waxing service. It's the same thing. But a male Brazilian wax has to be different than a female Brazilian wax because a scrotum and a labia... They look nothing alike. In fact, I'm, sh I don't know. Ladies, any ladies that watch this that have taken, is it cosmology? Is that the course? Is that the name of it? I don't know. If you know, it, tell me if, if, if there's like, um, maybe it's not a separate course to wax balls versus wax a box. Maybe it's, maybe it's in the same waxing course. Maybe it's a different, um, module or what well, I, I this is how long i've been out of school i don't know what things are called and like a different section it's got it's a whole it's got to be a wholly different lesson anyways this here canadian misgendering laws canada has made several strides in protecting the rights of transgender and gender diverse individuals yes too many strides here are some key developments and laws related to misgendering in canada 
Bill C-16 came in 2017. The federal bill added protections for gender identity and expression to, to the Canadian Human Rights Act and the Criminal Code, right? You know how I said that if you misgender someone or maybe you're a little mean, you're a little bit mean to a trans person, not even actually mean, but perceived mean, you are penalized by a great sum of money or you're put in a box. The bill prohibits discrimination based on gender identity and expression and makes it a hate crime to commit an offense motivated by bias, prejudice, or hate based on gender identity or expression. And that's either real or perceived. So the British Columbia Human Rights Tribunal in 2021, you know, BC is a leftist hellhole. In a landmark ruling, the tribunal declared that deliberate misgendering in the workplace is a human rights violation. The court ordered a restaurant to pay damages to a gender-fluid employee who was purposefully misgendered by their manager. Gender-fluid. You're a boy, then you're a girl, then you're neither, then you're both. Any time of the day. Gender-fluid. Canadian court ruling 2021. A court ruled that pronouns are a fundamental part of a person's identity and that deliberate misgendering is a human rights violation. This ruling has significant implications for the protection of transgender and gender diverse individuals in Canada. So a fundamental part of a person's identity that you can change at the drop of a hat. It's not that fundamental, if we're honest. But the Canadian courts are... Imagine AOC, for my American friends here. Imagine AOC got to pick the judges on the court. Imagine that. If you were to say, AOC, listen, I want you to, you have nine seats, put nine judges on a court. She would pick the, the most communist judges you could find. That's, that's the Canadian court system. That's true. Uh, that's, you might think that's some sort of crazy hyperbolic thing that I just did there. No, that's, uh, that's a realistic example or analogy. It's realistic either way. New, New Brunswick policy change 2023. The province of New Brunswick changed its policy on gender identity in schools, recognizing the role of parents in discussions around gender identity. However, this move was met with opposition from within the governing party and has sparked controversy. So New Brunswick did it a reasonable thing. Parents should be involved. Parents should be very involved because of something called parental supremacy. So the key takeaways, misgendering is considered a human rights violation in Canada and deliberate misgendering in the workplace can result in damages and legal action. The Canadian government has taken steps to protect the rights of transgender and gender diverse individuals, including Bill C-16 and the expansion of hate crime laws. While there are ongoing debates and controversies surrounding gender identity and expression in Canada, the country has made significant progress recognizing and protecting the rights of transgender and gender diverse individuals. This all is the AI generated thing. So that's that's that. A trans identified individual was awarded $35,000 for our far left progressive Ontario human rights tribunals uh, after after um, they couldn't get their 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 female girl balls waxed by a woman who her religion says can't do it because the transgender ideology supersedes everything. This woman, her Muslim religion says that she can't touch another man's balls. Or a man's balls. Doesn't that religion have some play involved in this? But no, it doesn't. They don't care. Because the, the trans ideology is the top dog. Anyways, it's videos like this. That's why I have to leave YouTube. All right, thank you for watching this video. I will, I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And uh, again, please do consider following me on Rumble. Peace. Peace.